House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is expected to tell House Republicans today that beginning an impeachment inquiry into President Biden. Politicians just don't have the backbone to impeach anyone. I agree 1000 percent. That said that if that Hunter Biden laptop story has any arguments against that. And I want to see how it goes. for that state sponsor. We begin the final hour of Fox and Friends with a Fox News alert. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is expected to tell House Republicans today that beginning an impeachment inquiry into President Biden is the logical next step. The news comes one day after the Biden administration announced a prisoner swap with Iran that unfroze $6 billion in sanctioned money for that state sponsor of terrorism. Griff Jenkins doesn't have six billion dollars, but he can report <laughs> on it. He joins us live from Washington, D.C. with the So that money was already technically, technically there's so, hey, release our money. We made that off of good hard work of terrorism. And we just need for y'all to give us our money back. If you give us our money back and release the sanctions on our country and give us five soldiers, we will release five of your soldiers. That's it. You know, fair exchange. All right. Fair. That sounds fair to me. And Joe Biden's like, that does sound good. This would be a win for us. Bringing home five Americans on 9-11. This would be a win. But what about the six billion dollars that we're giving back to the terrorists? Not thinking about that. We're going to bring home five Americans. Isn't that great? Guys, isn't that great? Nah, man, show some powers. Show that you got some daggone balls, man. Like, actually get out there and negotiate. Get out there and talk. Like, go vi go visit these countries. You know what I mean? Um, show your show your power. Show our strength. Threaten to whoop their ass. You know what I mean? That's that's how I look at it. But then these guys are just, they happy. They know that they can do whatever they want to do. And then they're making connections and joining up with the worst of the worst who run other countries. Who also got it out for us? What do you think they're going to do with this? Oh, they're going to owe us now. They're going to be on our side now. Plus, we're going to make friends with Iran now. And they're no longer going to terrorize us. All right? So this is hush money. You know, this is this is paying off a bully. We supposed to be the bullies. We supposed to be the ones that run everything. We supposed to be the ones that these other countries respect. They got that healthy fear. <laughs> of us. You know how when a child has a healthy fear of their parents, so they opt out of doing stupid stuff when their friends are going to go into a store and start stealing, the st stealing stuff, smashing grabs and all those other things. Our children have a healthy fear of us, so they're going to be like, nah, I ain't mess, nah, I ain't, mm -mm. I ain't mess with my pops like that. I, I ain't mess with my mother like that. I know if I get in trouble, if I get caught, I'm going to have to face something at home that y'all not going to have to face. I'm not not dealing with it at all. Where's that healthy fear of those other countries? Like we, we need them to have that healthy fear and they don't have that with Joe Biden. They don't. The dude barely even shows his face. He barely even shows his face. I don't get it, man. Details. Hey, Griff. Hey, good morning, Brian, Pete, and Ainsley. And this is very fast moving and breaking. Fox is confirming this morning that the House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, wants the House to pursue an impeachment inquiry. Now, McCarthy called it, quote, the logical next step for their investigations into the president and his family. So what happens next? Well, a meeting to discuss impeachment is set for Thursday morning. It's the House GOP conference, and they want the key committee chairs like Jim Jordan of Judiciary and James Comer of Oversight to lay out their latest findings in the status of their investigations and i'm not against it i'm just gonna keep it a buck with y'all i'm not against it but i would love to hear what y'all gotta say but for the time being i know there's a way to find out what people over here has to say about it and i want to see what they say okay evan mccarthy you are a joke <laughs> y'all are rough man i swear to goodness y'all are rough the first thing they say is kevin you are a joke <laughs> in my day we didn't make an announcement when we investigated someone or we suspected of criminal activity we just investigated them we didn't come out and say we're about to investigate going to potentially try to impeach the president President. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. So where's our fans that's going to clap? Where's the people in the stands that's going to be, that's going to stand up and say, yeah, you're doing the right thing, brother. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. All right, listen to this. Yeah, right. We'll believe it when we see it. As it would appear, Republican uh, politicians just don't have the backbone to impeach anyone. I agree 1000%. Dems, on the other hand, this would be the 11th impeachment of Republican presidents since 
Roosevelt. Where is the backbone? What are you going to do? Well, what we're going to do is make an announcement. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get in front of everybody and we're going to make an announcement. That's the part that that will make us feel like we're rocking and rolling. You know what I mean? That's like giving you that little small shot of what's it called, guys, when you have a great idea and instead of executing the idea, you just tell somebody about the idea and it make you feel like you've already achieved something by telling somebody about the idea. So after you tell people about the idea, you no longer have the same tenacity about finishing and executing the way that you did before you open your big mouth. So sometimes you just need to shut the hell up and do it. That's it. Announcing it is going to do what? They're about to impeach Biden. Did y'all hear that? Oh, we really rolling now. Nah, it ain't going to do nothing. It's just going to do exactly what it's doing right now. People do not believe you. We won't believe it until it happens. Reaction. 90% of them are a bunch of self-serving cowards that are interested in only two things, their re-election money and their personal wealth. We, the hardworking taxpayers, are not even a consideration to them. There were many things the speaker could have done, but he chose not to. And his team were busy shaking hands and kissing babies and vying for a spot to pontificate on CNN or Fox. They are a big part of the horrific times we're living through. You know what? This person right here is letting you have it. Why? Because all you did was announce something that you're not going to follow through. Kevin McCarthy will give the appearance of impeachment, but it will never happen. They're part of the corruption. Man, these people are coming out in droves. Shout out to Judy Fulbright. MAGA Republicans in Congress have nothing on Biden. That's already a known fact. Certain ones pressured McCarthy to go ahead for impeachment and he caved to them. Note, Trump been blasting to do this as well. And he is traitor to USA. Trump just saying, listen, I don't know what the hell she's talking about, but I want to hear what y'all got to say about it. And I'm going to show some replies because I'm sure somebody have, you have to be a bot. The evidence is overwhelming. This is not like the BS the Dems did to Trump. Listen, the bot. <laughs> Listen, people are coming out and just lighting her ass up. All theater. How long will this inquiry take to the end of his term? So he's protected from impeachment. People are tired of the rhetoric, man. People are tired of just hearing people talk and promise to do something big when they're not, man. Let me see what Benny Johnson's post is saying. I'm sure people are really, listen, somebody believes finally that something interesting is about to happen. Yeah. Oh, big deal. Biden will never be held accountable. They will say he isn't fit to stand trial or go to jail for that matter. Listen, people aren't believing it, man. Kevin McCarthy, I don't know what type of time he was trying to buy. I don't know what type of friendships he's trying to create. I don't know what type of connections he's trying to create, but this is falling on deaf ears. It's falling on deaf ears. People don't really want to, people don't want to deal with it at all. People not buying it. They're not.